Today we take a look at the most quaffable beer around. Hey guys, welcome to Rose Safari. An uneducated perspective on beer reviews. I'm Jake. I'm Zach. This is Ellie's Brown Ale. Yes, it is. Yes, it. it is. Oh, let's get into it. Let's get into so, it. So, you ever have Ellie's Brown Ale before? No. Neither have no, I. I'm not. I've never had a brown ale before. No, this is new to us. New genre, new brewing company. Oh, yes. All news, all yep. around, but highly quaffable. Highly quaffable. According to them. Mm hmm. So. All right, you ready to go into beer education? Beer education. Let's do it. All right, so this is Ellie's Brown Ale. This is 5.5% alcohol by volume. And only 17 IBUs, so very low bitterness, mm -hmm. and you know, like standard alcohol. Standard. At this um, point. Yeah, at this point. 5.5, 5.4. That's standard like for standard. craft. Well, that's more of a standard for macros, too. Is it? Your Bud Light's like 5.3. I thought it was 4. Point... I thought Buds are like. Eh, it doesn't matter. Could be wrong. It doesn't yeah, matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, so this is for, comes to us from Avery Brewing Company, which is located in Boulder, Colorado. I have no idea how their distribution network is so large. But good for them. Or, um, yeah, good for them. I'm glad we can get it. It seems interesting. Yes, um, it does. The beer is an American brown ale, and it's, uh, of course, the name Ellie's Brown Ale comes from the dog that was owned by the, the brewing company. Mm -hmm. Her name was Ellie. They named a the dog after her, so that's nice. Uh, this beer is available year-round, and according to them, it has a taste profile of chocolate, brown sugar, vanilla, and nuts. Ooh. So that'll be quite tasty, but... Worth mentioning, there are no adjuncts in this beer. No fanciness, no nothing. So it is not a flavored beer. It's not a flavored it's beer. Just a beer. Just, just a just brown a ale, and I am so thankful for that. Yeah, I, we're getting yeah, we too need, much. We need a palate cleansing palate experience. Palate cleanser. We're going to it. So yep. the descriptors, because they, they have descriptors on their website, are loyal, friendly, and mellow, which I guess is a reference to the dog, but also a reference to the mm -hmm. beer itself. Okay. Don't know how beer can be loyal, but whatever. And the recommended pairing for this beer is curds and potatoes. Curds and potatoes. So, cheese curds with potatoes with pork gravy is what mm. they recommend. Which is such a weird thing. It's very specific. Yeah, really specific. Really specific. So okay. that's a thing. Yeah. Um, and also, according to the can, this beer is lab tested. I don't know what that means. Mm, couldn't find um, more. Yeah, no explanation of that in any way. But, uh, now you know. Okay. Lab tested. Wraps up that beer. Okay, let's take a look at the can. Let's look at the can. Yep. Off the bat, you can see Ellie on the can. I'm assuming that's Ellie. It's a chocolate lab, it's which a is chocolate lab. The, they say the beer is named after. Yes. But uh, overall, to first thing I have to see when I think about this, or first thing I think about when I see this can is root beer. It does seem root beery. It reminds me of root beer. Yeah. And uh, it just looks like looks like a beer nobody drinks. Yeah. To be honest. It looks like something you'd see on a shelf mm -hmm. walking by, and you wouldn't actually drink it, you know? It's not particularly well-designed can. It's not yeah. super eye-catching. It's not super anything. You know, it's like it's like the hard candy at the bottom of the bowl that your grandparents like, but they stop. Yeah. But no one eats it. You just no look at it, it, and you're it's like, just around. Eh. That's what this beer is. Yeah. Like this can, can-wise, that's what it seems to be. Yeah. So, are uh, you ready to open it Let's on up? crack them open. Let's do it. Ooh, it's very brown. Oh, it's very brown. Brown ale is correct. It is brown. brown. You know, I think this is the first colored beer that's been accurate. Yeah. You know, white ales are never white. Red ales are never red. Well, we've had like one of each. But yeah. as like... We've had a few white ales. We've yeah. had white IPAs and white ales. That's true. And that's a white true. stout. God, this this looks, is brown. This looks remarkably um, like root beer. It does look remarkably like root beer. It's or like a cola. Yeah. That kind of like... Especially the head itself looks like, almost like a pop head. I feel like colas are more on the... Yes, it does. Because it's very airy. It's, it's a very, very airy head, not yeah. thick. I think but, it'll uh, stick around for longer. But. Yes. But I think colas more on the black side than brown. I agree. They're darker. This is like root beer. Because I guess... I, I think it's brewed. I think root beer is, as a soda is brewed. I think so. Yeah. I don't really know. But it, obviously with no alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. So the head's slowly, slowly okay. going away. So, but it's not bad so far. What about that look, though? The Whoa. look is crazy. It's so it's it's super cool. It's kind um, of I really like the way this looks because I happen to love root beer. Hold up to the light. And that's what this. Oh, it shines red, which is nice. Oh yes. 
It's just a good, it's a good looking beer. Um, it is. It really is. Isn't it? Because you could tell it's not a stout because it's not thick. No. And it's not really particularly like light absorbing. Are you, are you getting that smell as well? Oh yeah, it's a stinky beer. It's but got a stink. It's not bad though. It's no, nice no we, let's give it an official smell. Can we give it an official smell? Okay. Okay. That smells like, almost like halfway between a stout and like a... Like a lager kind of. Yeah. Like a halfway stout. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, I didn't really look up what a brown ale is. No. Because I assumed it wasn't worth looking up, but now Probably I'm not. curious. Yeah. Now I'm wondering what makes a brown ale a brown ale. Yeah. It does, yeah, you could smell like a maltiness to it, which is something you usually get with darker beers. But like, you know, I don't know, when we got this, I didn't really think of this as a dark beer. No. But it's clearly a dark beer. Yeah, clearly. Clearly. Like, you could probably make an argument this is a porter. I don't know. Wanted to. I mean, I don't know about that. It's it's more of a consistency though, because when you pour it, a porter pours like a stout, but it's lighter than a stout in color. This usually, true. this poured poured like a beer. It it poured did. like it poured like a an ale or a wow, well, drawing a blank on other brand, other kinds of beer. Ale, lager. A mm -hmm. lager. That's one thing. It poured like a lager, but it's dark like a dark like a porter. Well, it's, you want to give it a taste? Yeah, we give it a taste. Let's give it a taste. I'm really curious. I'm really, really curious. I I get getting hints of that sugar, the the brown and uh. Mm. Brown sugar comes through. Mm -hmm. mm. Chocolate a little bit, a little bit. That's the most. It's coming through a lot for me though. Like all the little flavor. Like this is like mm -hmm. really easy beer to pick out flavors when. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I like it. You get it, that though. nuttiness at the end. Yes, definitely, definitely. Nuttiness at the end. Um, hmm. It's like a nutty aftertaste. Yeah, like a nuttiness. Almost like a cashew, like yes. a buttery kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's. Huh. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Well, it's really thin for this kind of like. Yeah, because you get you get that um, that burned metal a little bit, like barely, but it's there. That you get from like stuff. It's like and stuff. right there alongside the nutty aftertaste. Exactly. So it's, right it's kind of masked. It's yeah. It's kind of masked. It's really not that bad. No, it isn't. It's, it isn't. it's not particularly crazy. Yeah. Hmm. Um, God, it's like it's like a roasted nut almost. Yeah, like a roasty. It's, oh my! Very interesting. It's in. That is exactly what it is. Interesting. I don't want. I don't want to say it's good. I don't want to say it's bad. It's, it's just interesting. Well, it, it feels like like a beer with this much flavor shouldn't be able to be this thin. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because when you get into oh, the, yeah. the stouts and uh, they they're thicker always, even always. like the Magic Cat, which is a thinner stout, yeah, it's it still, was still a lot thick. thicker than this. Yeah, you know it's hard to get that watery beer to carry so much. I think it works though. I think it works too because um, uh, it's easier it's easier to drink, so you can drink more of it, and it's more comfortable to drink because it doesn't come with that much of a mouthfeel. Yeah, the mouth feels very mild. It's, it's very mild. mild. You just it get that little aftertaste. Doesn't linger. The only thing that lingers is that roasted, toasted nut flavor, which is it's it's quite nice. I don't nice. mind it. Yeah. Good stuff. To tend to coat your mouth and. Oh, I do. Yeah. Do. Okay. Well, it's very interesting. Yes, it is. Yeah. Are we ready to break it down? Go piece by piece. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So, piece by. Peace. Ellie's brown ale. How does it look? How does it look? It's good. I really like it. I like how it looks too. It's not exceptional though. No, it's it's probably it's good though. But I'm gonna give it a seven. I think a seven is about right. I think it's a seven um, because it, you don't get that that rich brown color. No, it doesn't look rich. It looks almost like ruddy and kind of dirty. Yeah. You know. But I don't mind it because that's a bit of a weird thing. It's you know it's got a bit of a strange factor. Yeah, but I like it. You know. Um, it's interesting. By the way, almost not carbonated at all. No, it's very um, worth mentioning. And it, you can tell that within the mouthfeel as well because the mouthfeel is you don't get any like pop, that little you bit get no of pop popping, at all. None, none whatsoever. Yeah, but it's very interesting. Okay. So the head, I'd head. say, pretty poor. It's a two. It's it's oh. Mm. I'm gonna go three just because yeah. it has some velveting. No, cause also it was strong to begin with, but it just didn't have it that it longevity. Just didn't it up. So I'm actually gonna give it a five. I'm gonna give it a five. I'm gonna give it a five because it lasted, and then you get the velveting, mm -hmm. and it had a it had a pretty substantial head at first, but then it went away. So it's like a five uh, for is. me. I, I'm only gonna give it a three because um, 
I just I'm not impressed with it. A lot of beers start off strong and yeah. can't keep it up. Um, for me, it didn't even start off that see, strong. I feel like we do we judge beers upon how long they last, though. But the head in most beers, as we've seen, doesn't really last that long. It's like that's kind oh, of yeah. a. A well, I, feel, I feel like the the head was low quality because of how oh. large the bubbles in it, it was were, very airy. how thin it was, how yeah. airy it was, mm -hmm. how quickly it dissipated. That's Not actually, just that it stayed. That's just me. I just think it's a three. I mean, I don't yeah. really even know how we're supposed to be judging this section. No, it's it's kind of a sort of irrelevant section. I'd say it's pretty irrelevant. Yeah, <sighs> almost as much as the look, because the look has nothing to do with flavor. Nothing to do with flavor. It's just kind of pretty. Yeah, you don't drink a beer to look at it. Yeah, it's like you don't drink a beer to smell. You don't buy exactly. beer to smell it. Speaking of which, smell time. Oh, is it smelly smell? Of course. I don't actually like that, to be honest. It's all right. It's, it's, it's a five. I'm it's going five, too. Yeah, it's, it's like middle of the road. I don't hate it, but I also don't really love it. It's got negatives and positives. Yeah. Middle of the road. You know, it is what it is. It's weird because it doesn't actually smell like a beer, though. It doesn't smell like it a beer. It doesn't smell like a beer, no. Like a beer. Not at all. There's almost this, like, butteriness of it. It, all, it smells like if you took, like, a, a loaf of, like, rye bread and shoved a steel rod into it. I mean, you know what I mean? No, no, I did not. It's got that like dark breadiness, and then it's got like that metallic. Like, I'm, it's like a buttery smell to me, almost just a little bit in there. But I don't get buttery at all. But I don't like it. I don't, the metallic is more a larger portion of this beer than I would like it to be. Yeah, it's really See, my main drawback. I don't, I don't actually find that. Like, I get a lot of when metallic. I when I sip it and when I smell it, I don't really get that metallic. It's not very strong, but it's there. See, I just get a lot of that it's nuttiness. It's in all parts. I get a lot of that nuttiness. Huh? There is a lot of nuttiness. What was that last comment? Sorry. No, it's in all parts. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, the burn metal. It's really? Not, it's not segregated to the back end of the front end. You think it like seeps into all port, yeah, all, into all aspects of the beer? Yeah. Well, uh, you want to do a quick little hold in your mouth? Yeah, hold in your mouth. Let's do the mouth feel. Just because... Uh, Ooh, okay. I did the hole in your mouth, and now I'm getting that that metallic. The metallic, you know what I'm talking Ooh, about? Now? It's not very. It's not nearly as strong as a porter or a stout, but it's not super strong. It's it's just like it's there. It, it doesn't seem fitting. Mm. It's kind of my problem. Not for, for how thin it is, no. Uh, because when you get like the the porters and the stouts, it, it kind of goes with the thickness. And the, I don't know if we're just used to like having a beer that feels that way, have that metallic in it. Yeah. But with this kind of thinness, and this like other few characteristics of a stout having that poor part of a stout. I do have to say though, it's like a burnt metal, mm -hmm. but it's more burnt than metal. Yes. Does yes. that make sense? Yeah. It does make it's sense. less on the metallic end, more on the burnt. The burned end. Yeah. yeah. Which I'm, I'm not okay with, but I'm, it, I prefer that to the real metallic. I prefer it to the metallic, yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's, it almost fools you into being a little nutty, because that's where I was getting the nutty from, because it's more of a burnt, like a roasted. Kind yeah, of. definitely roasted. Yeah. Um, but you get that carbony almost. Yeah, so yeah. how do you feel about this mouthfeel? The mouthfeel, it's pretty good, but it's not great. Um, I think it's like a six. I'm going to go six as well, yeah, to be like honest. it's a six. It's, you know, it's not like super bad. No. It's just not super not. great either. No, it is not. Yeah. Just like, the, just like that's. I feel like that's the whole theme of this beer. It's not It's not bad, but it's also not super great. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. That's that's kind of the thing. So what about the main taste? The main taste. Main taste. Main taste. Okay. But you got to say this is one of the beers that's most difficult to actually separate the main taste from the mouthfeel. Usually those are really easy. Yeah, because the taste kind of falls into it. They really do blend together this think, time around. I think it's a six as well. I, I think it's also a six. I think know. it's a six as well. It's a six. So it's just such a similar experience that with, as mouthfeel goes. Like the taste and the mouthfeel, they're just like so cohesive. Yeah, they're cohesive. They make a, a decent product. Yeah. It's not like this is a bad beer by any means. I'm going to go ahead and say this is not my thing, though. Saying it's not your thing? As brown, as brown ales, the first opinion on brown ales, I don't know if these are my thing. Mm -hmm. Especially if they all turn out in a similar manner. It's just there's too much going on in this. Um, yeah, it's like it's weirdly complicated. It, it's an ale that wants to be a stout. That is what it seems to yeah. taste like. And yeah. I don't like that. Just just make a stout. Yeah. Or Why make, make an ale that wants to be a stout? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's 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 crossing genres negatively. Yeah. You don't need to do. Don't break yeah. those barriers. They're there for a reason. 
Yeah, well, I don't mind beers that break the barriers sometimes, but this this didn't do it well. No. It seems to be taking the worst aspects of both sides. Yeah. Um, to create something that's not half bad, but it's also not, not half good. Yeah. No, I mean it's a little more than half good. I say it's more than half good. Yeah. It, it's it's um, above average, but it's also not it's not wonderful. Yeah. It's not great. All right. You know, um, one word. The one, word. One word. <laughs> one word. That's never one word. What, oh, where did my pencil go? Where did it go? I'm gonna make a comment to this. Mine is gonna be stop trying to be a, stop trying to be a stout. 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 That's what I gotta say for for Ellie's brown ale. Just try, stop trying to be a stout. There's no need. Stop Unless you can do a better job, obviously. But. Jake, so your seven word review. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We're just calling it one word. That's just kind of an us. I know what you're saying. Um. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Stop trying to be a stout. Yeah, it's definitely trying to be something that's not. You can you um, can split the split the word count with me if you take half of that. Yeah, I think that's what's gonna. I think I'm gonna take it too. Yeah, it's just you're trying to mix up things that shouldn't be mixed up. Where mm. would you drink this? Hmm. Hmm. I see because the way it is, it's light, but it's also it's got those those the brown sugar in it and the chocolate yeah. notes of chocolate and also the nut. It feels like a very desserty beer. Something I would have with dessert. Does seem desserty. Yeah. Which is so that I, I would have it for dessert. For dessert, yeah, you think? I would just drink this instead of having dessert. I think I this with uh with something like a cake maybe or that would probably be good. Or yeah, with a dessert. Mm -hmm. Um I would be interested to have it with the curds and potatoes. Yeah. That would I, be weird. See I don't know. I don't think it would pair very well with that. Just be based on its flavor profile. But then again I I not I've never paired beer with anything I've intentionally. I've never had curds and potatoes either. No, never had. I don't like potatoes, so. I don't even know if I like curds. Probably not. Do you like cottage cheese? No. Then you wouldn't like curds. There you go. I'm going to, well, I think. I don't know. Yeah, where would I drink this? I don't even know. Maybe yeah. on a porch. Maybe on a porch. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see that. This seems fitting for, like, outdoors. I'm still in, like. Yeah, this is hard to drink. Um, it's not hard to drink. It's hard to it's know where you drink to, it, yeah, to place it. Dude, that's the weirdest part about it, is it's really easy drinking. Yeah. Even though there's, like, negatives to it. Mm -hmm. It's so smooth, and the mouthfeel you is know. very minimal. Because, like, I don't want to recommend it, mm -hmm. right? But I don't want to not recommend it. Oh, no, if this is your thing, you'd love it. Yeah, you'd love it. Um, and it's just, yeah. even if you don't like it, you could probably finish the glass easy. Oh, and I, I probably will. Yeah, I probably sure. will, too. For sure. Which is the weirdest part? Yeah, I'm still trying. I'm still in the back of my mind, like how the how is this lab tested? That's still the lab tested is really kind of worrying me a little it's bit. Really weird. I think it might be like a dog joke. Oh, because you test dogs, or maybe? the fact that it's 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 a pun. Chocolate lab is the dog on the thing. Oh, it's lab, lab tested. tested. Oh. We are so dumb. Wow. I think that's what it is. I think it's that's, a pun. I think it's got to be a pun. They should have done it in air quotes though. They should have done something. That's like so to stupid. let you know a little bit, but. I mean, unless we're wrong, and it's actually, like, lab-tested, but I'm assuming it's a pun based upon the dog that it's, it's named it. Okay. Right, I think I'm going to go with that. Yeah, I like it more anyways. All right, well. <laughs> All right, well. Closing statements. All right. Which we never say out loud. No. <laughs> now you're not realizing, huh? <laughs> All right. Thanks All right. for watching, everybody. Thanks so much. Yeah. We appreciate all your engagement with the videos. Yeah. Comments. Comments, Keep likes, subscriptions, all that. We really do appreciate it. Thank you so Wonderful, much man. for all your engagement. Yeah. See you next time. Later. Here are the scores for today's beer. Here's how it's stacked up against other beers we've reviewed.